Smith, man. You know me, Mr. Musicpreneur, aka Mr. Work Smarter 24-7. Today on this little hangout, man, I want to just show y'all how important it is to have a like, capture page. First, I got to tell you exactly what that is. And um, tell you a little bit about myself. Me as an artist, been grinding hard for like 10 to 12 years now and pursuing my music fashion. And if anybody is a real serious musician, you should know right now is the time where, man, if you're making music, it's no better time than now to push it because you have nobody holding you back as far as what type of music to make, as far as how to release your music. It's really up to you. So right now I'm gonna give you all a little tutorial on capture pages, squeeze pages, feed pages. It was basically is a page made to obtain information from a fan or a client or somebody who's just interested in you know, checking out your fly stuff. So um, let's get into it, man. Let me share my screen with y'all and show you the importance again of a capture page, squeeze page, or feed page. Me, I like to use squeeze page because you know, a little, little flyer on that on that lingo. I like using that, you know. But uh, let me share my screen with you guys and actually show you what I'm working on. Now, as you can see now, this is Tay Tags, one of the uh, fellow Cleveland natives, grinding real hard, real talented dude. Uh, been working hard at it for a minute. And um, we talked ways back, and I was really explaining him the importance of a capture page or feed page. Now, if I was the fan, right? And you all on Facebook doing your uh, posting or you're on Instagram doing your posting, whatever you do, you can include a link that will bring a person to this page. And as you see, during the first page, they got the name, they got where he's from, when he was born, and what he got going on right now. I can easily push the button, check out the video he got right now. Cause for y'all who don't know, Sky High, that's that's hot too. Sky High, make sure y'all check it out. Take tags, but uh, if y'all don't know, visual is also one of the big things of music today now too. They want to see you, you know what I'm saying? They want to see you out there in the field. They want to see you uh, interview. They want to see music of you. Anything that's really showing you uh, the face of that person is a great way to grab attention. You know, so if I'm hitting on Facebook or Twitter or any social media site and I click the link and I see this page right here that automatically telling me who he is a little bit about himself plus the video I'm gonna go check out more as now as I scroll down bam right there got one of his latest mixtapes scroll down some more you get more information of maybe your past mixtapes or the singles that you're currently promoting Right down there is all your social media handles. You see Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Skype, and Google Plus. Right above another one, his mixtapes. Now, how he had it, or I set up for him, as most of the people who I guess he wanted to reach out to or he wanted to know about his music was from his Reverb Nation page, which I really advise y'all to get a real website. Or if you use a Reverb Nation, have uh, some type of squeeze page on there so you can capture the information. But as you can see, shit, I'm vibing on one of his songs. I want to check out more forms, so I'm going to hit the click now. And as I hit the click now button, it instantly going to take me to his Reverb Nation page. Now, doing all this, you still not obtaining no fan information. So what I will advise people to do once you set up your squeeze page, have your, your offer or your, your click button or your um, button to where you want the people to find out more or connect with you somewhere else at, have that button, uh, send them up to a, a squeeze page with, they have to fill out information. And you wanna see how that look, I can show y'all one real quick. See right here, these are the different types of squeeze pages you will be have access to. You can fully customize it any way you want. Uh, it's really, 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 really dope. Let's see if I can find one of my old uh, uh, 
pages for you guys. But yeah, man, squeeze pages is one of the ways you can uh, capture your fans information. If you know what a squeeze page is, um, it's basically a front web page, whether you want to get somebody's name, you want to get somebody's email address or their phone number, whatever you want to do to capture that moment. Because we all know music is about emotion. If you want somebody to really buy into what you're doing, you got to grab them in an emotional way. Whether you make them want to uh, have have uh, have a better day, have sex, uh, turn up, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all off of a feeling. I would prefer if it's a good feeling, but it's all off of a feeling. And once they hear your one song, like that Sky High, if it caught me in a way like, hey, maybe made me feel like I'm on top of the world. I want to know what else he's doing. I will go to I'm gonna go to one of my pages that I had set up. Bam! My once you hit taste uh, page. When we go back to that. Now, once you hit taste page, once you hit that click now button, you should have it where it takes you to something like this. Excuse me, I'm going through my pages. Bam. This reveals all the latest music by Reggie. Come join me on my journey. Now, when somebody clicks into my front page or my link, it will take them to this page. And as they type in their information, bam. Right there, have captured or have squeezed my fan. So I can continuously send them out information about whatever updates I got going on, whether the concert I got, whether... Um, I got a new single or a new album coming out. I can get it to them direct instead of have to rely on them being on Twitter or being on Facebook or YouTube. Even if they don't check those sites, they can still get an update from me off of line, you know, off of being on one of the social media networks. So that's why it's so important and to have a squeeze page. And again, squeeze page is nothing more but information about you. It's like a it's like a snapshot of a uh, a small biopic of yourself, if you want to say, you know, because it got your name, where you're from, what you got going on, the video, all the singles you got out now. And if people want to find out more, they're able to click the link, bam, submit your information for some more info, and I'll be connecting with you over the year. And this is one of the ways of taking the power of the industry in your hands. You know what I mean? Taking the tools that's around it for you and making them work for you. Now think about this. For most of y'all out there who have um, over a thousand or over a hundred views on some of that videos or song plays that you have. Now imagine if you had a squeeze page up. You can't tell me that at least out of those thousand people, a hundred of them is not going to enter the information. You know what I mean? A 10% out of everybody who's interested in you is willing to give some type of information um, to follow up with you, especially if they connect them with you on that emotional level. So right now, I'll just give you a little brief of a squeeze page and what y'all can do with it, the power of it, and how you can fully customize and make it to your liking. So the most important thing I would tell any artist out there releasing music or working on music, start off with a squeeze page. If you don't start off with nothing else, start off with you a squeeze page so you can have a way to follow up with your fans and people that's interested in you other than social networks. Because if all social networks was to close their damn doors like MySpace did tomorrow, all of them contacts and all them information that we had of the people or inboxes that we had was gone. So definitely grab an email or a phone number if you can. Phone numbers usually take a while because, you know, people want to let you uh, make sure they fucking with a real person. Excuse my language. Or they dealing with somebody real, authentic. You know what I mean? So it might take a minute for you to get those uh, phone numbers. But anybody who's in business or anybody who's really just using – the internet today should be using an email, but if you're definitely in business and the music business, you should be using email. And if you're not, that's one of the first things you need to do because that's a huge contact for you to win. 
Let me put the uh, screen back on me real quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's my importance um, of a squeeze page. You know what I'm saying? And half of y'all don't really know what a squeeze page is. So I figure, like, for my fellow artists who, me, I'm just getting into this marketing. I've been at it for about two, two and a half, two and a half years. About two and a half years now. And um, a year with Work Smart, which is just a network where I'm giving free information and um, free strategies and tactics to help, you know what I'm saying, us win. Because, you know, the power is on us now, man. So it's about going out there, grinding, grabbing those fans. And at the end, it would be more rewarding when you get that deal, when you own your um, consumer rights, when you own your um, publishing. And most of all, you already own your creativity with the Internet. So we don't have to force to be make a certain song that's not us. But uh, at the end of this video, be sure to click the link below. You know what I'm saying I will be giving you more free tips, free tools, and things of that nature to help you navigate your way. So make sure you click the link below and check out the free offer, man. It's your boy Reggie. It's been a pleasure working smart with y'all. Till next time.